What time is it? It's two o'clock, so we're gonna get started. Good, thank you, thank you for showing up. So this is how to make the coffee concentrate to do a coffee enema for the Gerson therapy. Dr. Gerson had very precise uh, way of making the coffee concentrate for the purpose of getting the best benefits. Now, I don't remember the names of all the good chemicals that are in coffee besides the caffeine that actually um, helps with your liver. But when you get done brewing the coffee, sometimes you can see a little bit of an oil slick on the top. That oil slick is good. That is That little oil slick contains some of those good chemicals that you want to have in the coffee concentrate that you're making. And the purpose of the coffee enema is not to improve your bowel movements. It's not to clean your colon. That's not why it's used. It is used to stimulate your liver. And the caffeine and those other good chemicals in your organic coffee actually are absorbed through the portal vein, the hemorrhoidal portal vein that goes to the liver. And it, it, it supports and stimulates the liver to do a, a better job of cleansing and it removes up to seven to eight hundred percent more toxins from your blood and dumps them into your small digestive tract to get carried out of the body um, more than just what a person's liver would normally do and yes you still have to get rid of it and it's not actually going to the bathroom after the coffee enema it does not get rid of it at that time because it takes a good 12 to 20 hours for it to get from here to out but it's still on the way out and that's the important thing so here's how to do the coffee enema concentrate now this is to do one coffee enema if you just wanted to do one this is how you would make it you're going to start with three rounded tablespoons now a rounded tablespoon is not heaping as high as you can make it. You give it a little bit of a shake and it's a little bit rounded. That's what a rounded tablespoon is. So you do one, two, three of those. Give it a good shake so there's just a little bit on there, a little bit rounded. And then you would add 32 ounces of water or if you're in a country that's not using ounces, you can do a liter. It's very close. It's considered close enough but it's 32 ounces or four cups. Now, when we refer to cups in the United States, it's our unit of measure. We're not talking about cups. It's not this kind of cup. We're talking about a unit of measure that's equivalent to, here it is, equivalent to eight ounces. A cup is eight ounces, okay? And the amount of water you wanna add is 32 ounces. So it's four of these one great big one of the 32 ounces. Now the water you want to use has to be um, filtered with no chlorine and no fluoride. No, from, so if you have fluoridated water in your area, you need to use distilled water. There are no filters that remove the fluoride, 100% of the fluoride from the water. You have to use special water. Get distilled water if you're going to if your water in your area has that. You can get the chlorine out, but you can't get the fluoride out unless it's distilled. The kind of coffee you want to use is a light or medium roast organic coffee. It does not have to be a special brand. I know there's people who feel very strongly about certain brands and, um, you know, they're good. They are good brands, but they're not necessarily better for what you need. Dr. Gerson was not particular on her brand. It's okay to use a brand from the grocery store, which is what I have. I just have my store brand. It's a light roast organic, or you can use a medium roast. The reason why you don't want a dark roast is because it doesn't have as much caffeine. It has a lot of flavor, but we don't care about that. <laughs> We're not drinking this coffee. So it just a light roast or a medium roast is fine. So I've got my three rounded tablespoons. I add my quart of water to that. And then I'm going to bring it to a boil on the stove. So here, I've, I've got some little crib notes here. Bring it to a boil with no lid for five minutes on the stove. So it's boiling, boiling, boiling. After the five minutes, you're going to turn it down low. You're going to put the lid on and you're gonna simmer it for 15 minutes. Now, 
you might think, gee, this is kind of a big pot for what we're doing. The cost, it likes to boil over. It's kind of like oatmeal. You have to have a bigger pot than you think you need because it'll, it'll rise up and you're kind of stirring madly to keep it from going over and then it'll settle back down. But that's just like in the initial, when it first starts to boil, it wants to climb up and out. Uh, so I use a big enough pot so I don't have to worry about that. So after 15 minutes, after it's simmered with the lid on for 15 minutes, just take it off the burner, set it aside, and let it cool. When it's cooled, you're going to come back and you're going to strain it. I like to use uh, a fine tea strainer. That works really well. Um, anything bigger than that, and you've got the coffee coming through, and you don't want that. Um, you don't want to use a coffee filter. You know those, those papery filters? Don't use that because that's going to absorb some of those good oils that I was telling you about that are in the, the little bit of the oil slick on top. That paper absorbs them, so you don't want to use the paper to filter your coffee. Just find a really fine filter that you can use for that. You could even use cheesecloth, but it's messy, and I, I, I wouldn't use that. I, it was recommended somewhere, but man, it's a mess, and you have to, yeah, don't do that. Just find a nice reusable really fine mesh. You can see it's really fine mesh tea filter and that works well and so you're just going to pour it out. Now here's what happens when when you do this. Oh, um, how do I want to do this? When it's boiled and when it's cooled there's going to be less in there than when you started because it evaporated out. When you filter it, when you pour it and filter it back into your measuring cup, back into this measuring cup, you're going to see you don't have as much in there as when you started. Go ahead and add the water in to make the 32 ounces. That's going to be what you need. This is how much you use for a coffee enema. If you're brand new to this and have never done a coffee enema and you're doing this with a Gerson therapy, here's a recommendation. Start with half the amount of coffee. Your body is already toxic. Your body is already trying to get rid of toxins. When you introduce the first few times you do a coffee enema, the, the, the body's kind of like so excited to be getting rid of stuff that it, it, it actually starts cramping quickly and trying to send everything out when you're trying to put stuff in. And, <laughs> and, it's, it's just too much stimulation. Your body can't handle that much stimulation with three rounded tablespoons. So use half of that to do your coffee enema. Um, a lot of times people, there's, you know, it's the very unusual person that can get the whole quart in the first time they do a coffee enema. Um, some people it takes months to get to that point. What you need to consider is that it's okay if you don't get the whole amount in. Start with half, because there's only so long you can hold it and only so much you can get in. Do what you can, go to the bathroom, and then go back and do the rest. That's, I had to do that for six months. It took me six months to get to the point to be able to hold it, all of it, for the whole time. So don't beat yourself up if you think you haven't got it done in two days, or don't beat yourself up if you haven't got it done in two weeks. You just keep persevering, relax, don't try to do things when you're, when you're laying there trying to hold it, just relax. You know, don't even get on your phone, just close your eyes and relax. If the cramping gets too uncomfortable, go to the bathroom. That's all you have to do, just go and be done with it. And then the next time, you know, so, but if you only can hold half of it for half the time, then go ahead and put the other half in and hold it for the rest of the time, or for as long as you can. It's not recommended to hold it um, too long, you know, not, not more than 20 minutes. 15 minutes is ideal. So if you want to do the 15 minute, it's fine. But, um, you know, any longer than that is no benefit. In fact, they say you can start absorbing things re back up. So you don't want to do that. Now, I want to show you a tip on the measuring. If you want to make enough coffee concentrate to, for the whole day, let's say you're doing three coffee enemas a day. You're following the non-malignant protocol. You could count out nine um, spoonfuls, okay, nine tablespoons, or 
Now here's, here's the interesting thing. I love measurements. I think it's kind of a fun thing. When you have a rounded tablespoon, it's actually a tablespoon plus a teaspoon. Three teaspoons make a tablespoon. I know this is too much math for you. But anyhow, what I'm trying to tell you is that a level, now if you know what I mean by a level table, a level cup, a level one quarter cup measure is the same as three rounded tablespoons. Okay? I can just do three of these and this will be this what I need to do three coffee enemas. So I would do one and I would use my little knife or a piece of silverware, level it off, and that's worth the, that's the same as three of these rounded. Okay? So if you're doing three a day, you can just count out three like this. If you're doing five a day, you cut out five like this. And that was easier. I, you know, when I wasn't feeling good and I was tired, or when you're toxic because you've been doing all these juices, you've got to get it out. Sometimes I couldn't count to 15 rounded tablespoons because I lose count. So for me, I can count to five. I can count to three using a one quarter cup level. So you can do that. So I could use this, use one level one with my one quarter water and make one enema concentrate. If I'm doing it for the whole day and I wanted to make three, I do three of these into a bigger pot. Okay, bigger pot. I'd probably use about a quart and a half of water. Make it the same way. Five minutes off boil, 15 minutes with it, the lid on, down low. And then when I go to strain it, I would just make sure I put equal amount, amounts in three containers. And that way I know exactly I've got enough for three coffee breaks sometimes I would get mine I would use enough less water that I would just bring it to the three cup point in my quart jar and I could keep it all in the fridge just like this your coffee concentrate is good for 48 hours after that it's not recommended to use it because it can start to grow mold if it gets older so you want to use it up within two days of when you make it I think that's it I think that's all I have for you. So I'm going to see if I have any questions on my computer. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. And I don't know if I can get it to come up. Come on, it says it's waiting for me, but I don't know why. How do I find me? Hmm. Let me try it again. And we can talk, because it's not showing anything. Maybe, maybe you don't have the capability to write questions. Because sometimes you have to be a member of on YouTube to be able to do that. Hmm. And I'm not I'm not getting me on my computer. Isn't that funny? It's telling me it's waiting for me to come on. And yet I'm I'm on. Well, you know what? We'll end it here. And if you do have any questions, you can put them down below. Because this will post automatically and be on YouTube from now on. And I'm telling you right now, I can't answer medical questions, okay? And probably depends what kind of animal questions you're asking, whether I can answer or not. I'm just trying to leave this strictly the cooking level. If you know, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, all right, I guess that's it. I can't find me. I don't know how to answer your questions, but put them down below. And I'll be checking in for the next couple days to be sure and, and try to answer anything that you have, okay? Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. And this worked out well for me to do the uh, to do it live because my husband's been so busy. He hasn't, between the two of us, we haven't been able to coordinate uh, recording anything. So I had a little time today to do this. All right, we'll talk to you later. You can watch it on the replay. Thanks for coming. Bye. if I can figure out how to turn this off now. How do I turn you off? There we go. Yep, I'm done. <laughs>